Hello guys, welcome to another video. So today we'll be discussing about beam solid anchor. So what is beam solid anchor? Let the name not intimidate you. It is very simple. Let us assume this to be an antenna. So this antenna is required to have electromagnetic waves radiated in a particular direction. Okay, so let us assume that this antenna radiates those electromagnetic waves in a particular angle, solid angle. Solid angle is a three dimensional angle. So, this antenna propagates electromagnetic waves in a three dimensional solid angle in such a way that when we take each of the direction within that particular angle, the radiation intensity would be constant and this would be equal to the maximum value that this antenna can generate. As simple as that. So, in simple terms, beam solid angle is defined as the solid angle through which all the power of the antenna would flow if its radiation intensity is constant and equal to the maximum value for all the angles within the solid beam angle. So, I will make it simpler for you. Let us assume that this here, this is an antenna. And let us assume that this antenna radiates along this solid angle. Okay. So, all the radiations go like this. Okay. Let us assume this is the solid angle through which this particular antenna radiates. Then, this is said to be the beam solid angle if when we take all the small infinitesimally small angles within this angle it would have the radiation intensity as a constant and as equal to the maximum value for all the angles within this beam solid angle as simple as that that is what you call a beam solid angle so now let's uh, derive an expression for beam solid angle so the beam solid angles expression is derived from the radiation pattern. So, we all know for a particular antenna the value of u. Let us assume it to be b0 a function of theta comma phi. So, if this is the value of u, then what is the value of u max? u max is equal to b0 into f of theta comma phi whole max. So, that is u. So, if this is u, then what is p rad? That is the power radiated by an antenna. The power radiated by an antenna can be written as p rad double integral of through the particular angle u dot d That is through this angle, this solid angle u dot the particular angle. So what is that equate to? When substituting this value in this, we get double integral of b0 into f of theta comma phi sin theta d theta d phi. So, that is the value of p rad. Now, what is the directivity? We saw what directivity is. That is how directional a particular antenna is. That is directivity. So, directivity d max is equal to 4 pi into u max divided by the power radiated okay this is the formula for directivity so substituting these values in this we get directivity is equal to 4 pi into u max what do we get u max here b0 f of theta comma phi the whole max divided by what is p rad p rad here is double integral of b0 f of theta comma phi sin theta d theta d phi. So, now next what we do is let us divide let us divide the numerator and denominator by b0 f of theta comma phi the whole max this d max is equal to 4 pi whole divided by double integral of b0 f of theta comma phi divided by b0 f of theta comma phi the whole max into sin theta d theta d phi that is what we get okay so therefore we can write d max 
equal to 4 pi by a particular constant. So this constant is therefore referred to as beam solid angle, as simple as that. So therefore, this is the beam solid angle, where beam solid angle can be written as double integral of a particular function. Let this be written as a particular function. So fn of theta comma phi into sine theta d theta d phi. This is the expression for beam solid angle. So now guys, that is all about beam solid angle. I hope you guys have understood what beam solid angle is. So stay tuned and peace out. Thank you.